We never even had a chance to mention Varsham Borayan from Armenia. He goes home disappointed. And now we go on to the final match. Chingis Labazarov of Russia. The 71 kilogram gold medal match against Ozil Yunus from Turkey. Yes, also with uh, bronze at the European Euro. And uh, Labazarov uh, won the very prestigious uh, uh, Podobnie, Ivan Podobnie tournament uh, in January. That kicked off the wrestling calendar in Russia in January, but here. September in Uzbekistan. So it's a meeting uh, between two great countries here again. 71 kilos per Korman. So let's go for the gold. Labazanov waiting, no time there. Trying to get into the centre of the mat and put some pressure onto Ozil. And Yunus Ozil, the stock here of the two, he's got the strength on the inside. But for the moment, it's Ozil who will step in uh, Labazanov. Oh. Well, the Turkish coach looks as if he means business. <laughs> but will it be Turkish delight or disaster? for the World Championship title. Missed goal from the Turkish. From Ozil in red. In blue, I'm sorry. And who's going to get the gold? Good arm drag attempt. But good upper, upper head control. Head and arm over, you know, on the front. Front headlock, we call that, by the way. And Lapazanov, the Russian. Very quiet uh, beginning of this uh, final and the first period. No one uh, showing that uh, will take risk to attack. Even if we award the risk, oh, a good attempt of the Russian to disax or to pass under the arms yep, of the Turkish guy and the referee, the, yeah, the referee is sensitive in this aspect. <laughs> now we see what happened with the Russian in the, on top. Yeah, already got the control on the wrist. On, I mean, on, on, on the hip. And Yunus Ozil tries to escape, but Chingis uh -huh. Lavazanov, and he had him for a moment. Can he get him uh -huh. again? You saw the, the speed. The speed of the Russian, the strength of the Turk. Can he get the big throw here? Oh, he's put himself oh, in oh, trouble. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nearly put himself Good on points. his back there. I think we're going to see the challenge there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. From the Turkish coach, he was saying because there was no danger. The, the, and the, 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 the means also that was a counter from the Turkish guy. He controlled, you can see, he controlled the back of the Russian with his hand. You see? Yeah. You see? And he broke him in the bridge. Normally, it's two points. If they, if they score points for, for the Russian, they should score points for, for, the, for, the, for, for the Turkish. Because... We, we say a missed throw when we don't make, we don't award any score. But if you score points for the Russian, before that he was stuck on the bridge. You can see, for enough time to be to, to, to be awarded for point to block the to block the the Russian in bridge. Well, the but Turkish you know, coach made the challenge, but they've given him his challenge blocked back. But you know, it's, 
they no, they, they refuse the challenge, and they give one point to the Russian for one the failed point. challenge. Yeah, yep, for the failed challenge. Lapazinov's got a good hold again of Ozil of Turkey. Can he get up onto his feet? Can he make the big throw? He's got the strength. Good defence though from Ozil. Yeah, he's stepping in the race because they're the Russian, you know. Did, you know, he, he, he tried to keep uh, one leg between the two legs of the Turkish, but the Turkish put the, the two legs inside the Russian's leg and step in. So at the time he is in a bad position, can do nothing. His passing is a uh, uh, feet is uh, on balance. The center of gravity is out of, of the, the two point of the, of the two feet of the Russian. So you can see now an attempt of the Russian pushing, pushing. And here he tried to go range fast. And here you see the control. But I didn't saw anything wrong from the Turkish yeah, guy. He blocked, yeah. he blocked on the back. And they, they punish him for that. They say, well, uh, was wrong and you go back on the floor they should score points for both of them that's that's the jury that's the decision not uh, maybe I, I didn't saw any everything and Eunice Ozil has to angle, accept it yeah yeah from this angle yeah. it looked as if the tuck should have been rewarded with something at least wasn't in any real danger got himself back on the mat and into position but Never. he is three points down of Russia dominating at the moment. It's a reasonably active start from the Russian. He doesn't want to get too passive too quickly. He's still trying to stay out of the road of the referee. Although, uh -huh. he doesn't manage it. First caution for the Russian. One point. They, no, they didn't give one point because it was the first caution. Right, let's see. No. No point, and uh, now it's the time for the Turkish guy to try to find uh, some space. Hanging uh, on there. Very strong, very strong uh, back of the Russian. You know, the, the Russian is very powerful on his back, so you see, he support, even if it was a leverage, you know, a big leverage from the Turkish guy, he support the leverage and, and stand up. That's, you know, that's a proof that he's very powerful on his back and on his neck. Well, the redoubtable Russian Labazanov showing that defensive strength here. He wants this world title. Ozil still trying to be active, trying to get in amongst it, the Turk in blue. But at the moment, Labazanov looking good for the gold. There's still lots of time left on the clock. But the Russian just getting caught up here. And, and, um, Has a look at the scoreboard. A tentative uh, arm drag for, for the Turkish uh, one or two times, trying to grab the head on top, but he will not be able to grab the arm at the same time. Really pushing, really trying to penetrate with his arms in the, the uh, lava zone of the uh, arms, but nothing happened, nothing happened in there. And the referee steps in and says that too much passivity from Labazanov gives a point to Ozil and puts yeah, the not, Russian into not part here. Point for the second caution yet. Let's see what happens now. So if the Turk can get a good throw here, he could be back into this final. But you know, he will take care of the counter of the of the Russian because the Russians are very good. We call this dog wrench the Russian belt, by the way. So is their specialty. Well, by definition, he has an advantage, and Labazanov trying to retain that advantage down the stretch here. The business end of this Olympic, or this potential win here at the World Championships. The Greco-Roman style, who's going to get the gold? The Russian in red, the Turk in blue, but who's going to be on top? Labazanov has all the answers at the moment. Very tough bar, very tough but then very both of them you know really pushing and pushing and pushing. Well, with five seconds to go now, Chingis Labazanov, he's on the verge, he's on the cusp. 
And he's on top of the world here. The Russian in red, Chingis Lavazarov takes the gold medal. Yunus Ozil of Turkey. High consolation with the silver medal. Yeah, Ozil agreed that uh, uh, Lavazarov won the, that bout. You know, he tried best himself and very fairly came to check the end of the match man here. So that's a good uh, spot, uh, spot move. But really, Lavazarov was, uh, was the man of the bout, yeah. Well, he's on top of the world and he's still got the energy to jog off the mat. Takes the congratulations of the coach, and this is how he did it, Daniel. Yeah, yeah. you will see the action of the, of, the, of the arm of the Turkish guy. For me, nothing wrong except the Russian was blocked on the bridge. You see, with the arm of the Turkish. No, no legs between to to uh, to block the Russian. Just the arm on the back of the Russian. 